it's all about how to get from like the 1 million. So from like seven, like your, your net worth of like one to nine and how, how to get to the 10 million. Um, so yeah, a lot of people get stuck in like the two, three, four, if, if I'm not mistaken, right, Gabriel? And then the whole yeah. idea is like, what gets exactly. you to 10? Yeah, figures to, to eight figures, exactly. Yeah. I don't mind to 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 stuck on at eight million. To right. Me. I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that is good too. But then some want to go to seven seven figures to eight figures to nine figures. So that's that's the plan. Yeah. yeah. Diego, why would you say why why would you say while other people log on here, Diego? Why would you say the first million is the hardest? Because after that, it it doesn't. I don't want to say it doesn't seem hard, but I feel like the first million was the hardest. Yeah, I mean, so I feel like there's a lot of, in the beginning, I feel like you get, you need a lot of, you need to make sure that you manage your finances. You have to be aware of where you are, manage your finances the right way, um, and making sure that you have the right connections, right? And that's why I'm a big believer of first you become the person that achieves financial freedom or maybe it is a millionaire you have to become the person that's a millionaire first and then you get it years later so um that's why i feel like getting to the first million is definitely hard let's say and then maybe getting to the two or three you begin to compound um compound that and it's sort of and something that i learned also from the guys that are worth now like 15, 20, 30 or more, it's more that your finances change instead of you trying to increase your income. Now you're sort of like managing your wealth. So, yeah. yeah I, I agree. I 100% did, Diego. That, that's well said. said. Cool. But, but 1 million doesn't give you freedom, right? <laughs> it depends how you allocate and use it. I, I would say, I would say a million dollars can give you the freedom. I mean, a million dollars in the bank isn't going to do anything for you. Personally, I wouldn't. I would want that money working for me. So I think if I have a million dollars working for me, I could definitely have financial freedom where I'm at, for sure. Yeah. Now, the other thing, and this is something that I've learned from being part of GoBundance too, you're right. The one million doesn't get you the freedom, especially if you're making a million and spending a million. Because really, you're not, you're just, you just have an awesome lifestyle. And you put that on Instagram and you look like a genius and you look awesome and all your followers and all this other stuff. <laughs> but uh, freedom, I believe, like, if you, like, if you would have asked me, Diego, would you want to get more like 10 to 12,000 bucks a month passively or become a millionaire? I would take the 10 to 12,000 a month passively. Um, than becoming a millionaire. Gabriel, what would you have to say to that? Um, I, I think it's an interesting topic, and I'm going to you know, share a little, bit, a little bit of my story here in a little bit, but um, you know, I, I was financially free really fast and really young, and I was still really poor uh, to start. So I, I stopped working when I was $1,500 a month cash flow positive, and my expenses were really low. And so you know, financial freedom means different things to different people. Um, and it's all how you approach it. I was never a high salary earner. I've, I never, um, you know, had a large income or large expenses early on that I was trying to replace. For me, it was, I started with no money and I just, I didn't have a lot of expenses. And so when I was $1,500 a month cash flow positive, I stopped working. And so, you know, I had only seven units at the time. I was cash flow positive on all of them. Um, so I was financially free. I was just still uh, not wealthy yet. So I think that, you know, you can build it, uh, you know, in different, in different ways. So, and I'm sure we'll dig into that a, a little bit. Um, yeah, it just means different things to different people.